Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and here I have a Carbine or Carbine CDSP. I've wanted one of these locks as soon as I saw one. It's just taken a while to get one. I had to ask a friend in Australia to uh, get one for me and send it over. And I just love this. It's a, a, a dual custody padlock. It's got two shackles, so you can lock two things. I, I'd maybe uh, have a, two different hasps or a chain link between them. And this allows two people to have two different keys uh, for access to the same thing. So you might think, well, why can't they just share the same key, same padlock? A good question. I think the use case for this is where you might have these locks here keyed alike to um, other keys. So this might be for a shared gate, but then you might have a door key or other gates which are private to only you and you don't share a, a key with somebody who has access to those areas. Something like that. If you know more about it than I do, then obviously please drop a comment below. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just very, very cool. Ball bearing, double ball bearing locking mechanisms uh, on both sides, uh, aluminium body. This is Australian, um, as I most mentioned earlier. It got sent from Australia. It's an actually, actually an Australian brand. And I just absolutely adore any lock which has like a, a, a dual keyway. And this is a very unusual, almost heart shaped style lock. Absolutely love it. Um, we'll try and pick both sides. I'll only got one side, they're going to be the same. Uh, but we have the key bittings here. Now, they are different, but they are also a little bit similar as well, if I overlay them like that. They only differ um, in, a well, one, two cuts, but they are different uh, bittings. And unlike the last carbine or carbine lock, they operate in a clockwise opening manner as opposed to anti-clockwise. Uh, so yeah, very cool. Let's grab a vise, throw this in and have a pick. Okay, so we're in the vise and um, let's try and grab the key for this side. And what's interesting is that it operates the shackle at the back um, when you pick from the front, so it doesn't operate the shackle at the top here. So uh, yeah, just bear that in mind. And what have I got? I have a, a, a gem style pick and top of the keyway turner which will go in here and we'll give this a bit of a go. I think that there are slight tapers on these pins. So I have to pass through the lock a couple of times. This feels like pin six. Um, again, I'm not going to pick them overly. Go back through, back through, back through. Anything binding, nothing on one. Pin two's here, little click. Pin one now maybe. No, we're okay, okay, back to six then. Wriggle around. A little click there, but not overly happy, so I might just release some tension. Same with five. Um, check pin one, two, okay. Might as well go to a, a slightly deeper uh, medium hook. I'll get up and around. That was six. Five, four, three, two. Okay, so pin one, pin two, three, four. That's five and six again. Trying to six. Sort of wriggling my way around the warding to get there. Six, five, oh, and we're open. There we go, that's one side. And then we'll pop this in, which way around? Yeah, it's this way around, isn't it? I'm getting confused with the shackles myself. I'll try and find the key for this side. There we go, make sure it's right. Yep, yeah, it is. And working all fine. And we'll try and do that again with my top of the keyway turner like this and again we'll start at the back uh, one pin at a time not over tensioning pin one pin two three four little click five back to six six five four, back to one 
two, nothing on three, four, no nothing, wriggle round, five, six, okay, not quite there yet, let's try pin one, two, three, four, little click, five, little click, Six there. These tapered pins are a real pain sometimes. I think there's only very, very light tapering on these as well. Five. Okay. Back to the front. Pin one just gave me a little movement there. And two, and we are open this side too. There we go. Move this out of the way somewhere. We can put it over here. And we have, it's kind of weird, doesn't it, like that? Very strange. What a weird lock. Okay, so, um, what do I have, what do I have, what do I have? I have a screwdriver. It doesn't really matter what side we choose, does it? So uh, let's choose this one because it's just the one I put the screwdriver into. See, we'll drop that out, which it does. Um, pull that up here, grab my pinning tray. Oh, interesting, okay, so it looks like I need, I really haven't looked at this, so, but it looks like I need a little screwdriver as well, which fortunately I have something to hand. Try to find roughly the right size end that I need, and I think it'll be, this one. A lot that back up. Not a sponsor, but I really like this little set by a Draper. In case you were interested, slightly bigger end. Don't want to strip the threads. Oh yeah, okay. No, bigger again. I hope I can get this off. It seems to be held in very tight. Okay, yeah, I've got it, I've got it. I just wanna, wanna make sure I don't ruin the screws at the back of this. Okay, that's those bits, move those over the way. Got to find the key. I can't remember, I didn't make it, a, a, a look at which side. Of course it's gonna be the wrong one. Okay, let's try the other key. Should have paid attention, shouldn't I? There we go, okay. So just checking here, looking at the back, that should be, I think that should be fine. I'm going to try and use a shim because I can. And get a follower and hope for the best here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, get my tweezers, which are just here, fortunately. Make sure these are right around. Um, yeah, these are ever, ever so slightly beveled and it does make a difference. It's not extreme. Uh, it's not quite as bad as some Lockwoods, uh, but very similar in feel in terms of picking. Uh, let's go through here as well, take the shim out, don't need that anymore. So I think these are all like standard apart from those bevels. They do tend to hang up in the lock. You do have to sort of pick them a few times to get them open, I found, with these carbines, for better or worse. 
Um, oh, I've got a spring with that one too. Aren't we lucky? I'll keep the other springs in. And uh, yeah, let's just have a, a little look at these. Here we go. All standards in all six chambers. I'll just grab um, one of these little driver pins. And mm, I can't really see much in the way of beveling on this. Maybe the key pins. They feel like they're beveled. There's a slight beveled edge here just at the top but yeah it's not not very it's not very extreme but it just does feel will so it does feel weird you'd have to pick through it a few times I find um, which is very strange for standard pins so something's coming into play there anyway that's the um, rather wonderful carbine CDSP if you like this video leave a like if you have any comments about this lock leave one below I do read them all and reply to as many as I can if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing it really does help my channel out and of course I will see you all next time